Right. Right. Hello, everyone. How are you? Uh, welcome to Escape the Maze, part seven. So, uh, we're starting to get into the journey now, and, uh, you know, I'm trusting that you're starting to take a few little things on board. If you're not, like I've said before, just take your time on this stuff, yeah? This is... This is what we're doing is, or what I'm doing, trying to attempt here is just trying to give you that sledgehammer so, and you are breaking down realities the more and more we're going to get into this. So, you know, as the battle within will start if you're on this journey. So just like I say, if you're really, really happy with the way things are and how your life is, I would just stop watching these videos. I really would because... This is going to give you a little bit of a sort of inspiration to go out there maybe and tri trigger a memory within you that you want to go in search of some answers of what I'm actually saying here. Um, but like I say, you know, I've got to be careful on how I introduce the, the information because, you know, a lot of people out there might not um, find themselves in a situation where they're not... They're not ready to receive it, if you know what I mean. So just, you've got to take, on when you do this journey, you've got to take really, really little bite-sized chunks of it. You've got to absorb it at the time, uh, how you feel good about it, your time scale. You know, if you overload yourself, then you're going to feel dumped out. So there's just so much to learn along the way or deprogram ourselves along the way. And uh, with that deprogramming, comes of a lot of um, a lot of, uh, of knowledge into us so just take it uh, just take it a little small chunks at a time that's all I'm saying because um, we don't want anyone to find themselves in, in, in a space where that you know that this, this this all is just a bit too much to handle so um, I trust you're all right out there like I say on on every video from escape the maze, you're doing the best you can, one foot in front of the other. Let's keep going on it. Let's go on this journey. It is a big journey. It's, a, it's the biggest journey of remembering who we are. Our lives depend on it. You know, the spiritual warfare that we're involved in um, to people that know or unknown um, has a wide net all over us. So um, at least if we do find out um, certain aspects of, of this journey, at least that uh, we'll be able to comprehend why certain things are happening and why they're not, and we're not in um, stood in the blind and false light all the while. So um, <coughs> today I haven't really got, you know, I've, I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do a few leaps today. Um, I'm sort of going out on a bit of a limb. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit and then slow them down but like I say you on the speed up bit the acceleration bit of it just take your time if you if it's all a bit too much for you then um you know you turn the video off you know or go back to it when you're in a better place or a better mood you know like this stuff is is a little bit that, that does break realities a little bit you know but um you know, no pain, no gain, you know what they say. So, um, like I say, escape the maze. I'm going to get back on the board again. I'm uh, going to draw the box again. We're going to get away. Well, uh, well, we won't get away from the box because we love it in the box. That is the addiction. Um, that is all. That is everything that you can imagine uh, of all your drugs, alcohol. That box is times 10,000 of the addictions, what we've got attached to that box. These videos will start probably along the way, given your Stockholm syndrome. You know, like you're gonna try and protect that box that you're in because that is your whole reality. You've you've invested all your time and life within that box, what you live in. So you get someone come along and start handing you the tools to start breaking it. You're gonna have a bit of a fight, not only with yourself but the messenger. That is just trying to dig into that box with you. Um, you're going to have a bit of a, you know, probably end up if you don't dislike me now. You probably will along this journey. But what I'm just trying to say is just get the message out of there. You've got to realise that some of us what have done this work and can see it exactly for what it is. 
that can be really painful to see unconsciousness out there hurting themselves all their lives, not finding out anything, and then they're lost, they lose their physicality, and um, they don't live the day in their lives, really. So <coughs> that's this is where, you know, you break out of the system, like I did, come into the system, and then you just use yourself as a messenger just to try and get it out to your brothers and sisters because we care about what is happening because even though we're bridging and having to bridge realities all over the place in here, like a lot of us are, we're still in sense, we still feel the, the damage what's been done here. So the more of us will break out of this, the less the system has to feed on. You know, um, I hope you comprehend what I'm saying there because like I say, we're, we're going back to sense here. So we're, out of, we're pulling out of desensitization, like I said in the last video, and we're going back to sense, we're going back to feel again. So um, there's a big difference um, from thinking to feeling. And that's the same to me, then this is, this is this, like I said uh, before, this is my theory on stuff. The world and the earth has two names, what we've said in the video. Well, to me, thinking and feeling are two different things as well, completely different structures. So we're going to get into that, but then we're just going to have to get back into the box. To, I'm going to write a few things down to try and make it clearer. The picture is clearer because all I'm doing here is giving a really wide umbrella at the moment because um, just for the background, for when we do go back to my story and then we can start dotting the dots together and, and getting, the, and getting the, the full picture of stuff along the way. So um, <coughs> I'll get on the board again. Um, let's just wipe this out. Right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to go back into the box, right, where we all are. And um, I'll draw this now. Let's see what we can do with this squeak. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah. So we'll draw that like that again. So, and there's us in there. Right. So what we're going to do over the next two videos, or next few videos, we're, go we're going to start getting into what this box actually is. Right. And then this is going to twist a few melons. That really will. That will come, that will come at, at you, at me, for what I'm going to actually try and get the image out of this and try and give to you because like I say this is this is a belief system that you know we're not going to shatter or we're going to chip away at and that's going to there's going to be a big big amount of resistance on what we're doing here because this is exactly designed for what we're now going to attempt to try and shatter it a bit so um like i say if there's people out there where you're completely happy with your lives and you're happy with what you see out there and you you don't really care and there's nothing you can do about it anyway i don't i don't think that this is really for you this journey even though i want everyone to come on it but um that might just not be your turn around disco you know what i mean so um that being said we're going to get on with what the box is. I've, wrote, I've written a few things down here. Um, so in the box, let's just get this here. And we're going to just do this again, the same as what we done last time. But we're just going to start breaking it into it a little bit, right? So in the box there, we've got history, the world, uh, the universe. Um, words like language, uh, numbers, symbols. Uh, what have we got here? We've got evolution. Nice big one for us to get juices flowing. Right, evolution. We've got science in here. Right. Closely followed by religion. Right, religion. And we've got all the... Well, we've got government in there. Government, right, and all the governments, and we've got all the entertainment in there, like we've been talking about earlier, entertainment, right, entertainment, right, so, this is all, like we said before, been programmed into us from when we were young, 
So all of these in here, all of these, if you want to take it like this, are programs, right? Programs. Uh, belief systems. Oh, okay, you've done that. See, there's a classic there. Belief. Belief uh, systems, right? Belief systems. So, all the programming, or the belief systems, out of these stories are all in there. And they're all in our heads, right? They're all programs, like a computer system. We've been downloaded with them from birth. We believe them. We believe all of this in here because that's what's what we've been taught. And there's nothing else out of there to say the contrary. You know, this is it. This is it. This structure, this construct is it for us. This is where we live. But this, is bit, but this has been designed, designed for us to forget about ourselves. Now, we're going to get into why this happens, right? And this is true. This is the true spiritual battle, what's going on here. This is where it's very important to get your uh, spiritual, uh, sentient being, spirituality, if you want to call it that, online, on board. Because the end of the story, all of the story, depends on us getting that we are much greater than what we've been led to believe and we are in a spiritual battle, right? If we don't get that, if we get caught in them gates, what I was saying, of the small veneer structures that we've been lost in, we're not going to get to that remembering through the gates to us and then in turn that comes on to teach us through remembering who we are that this is in fact a spiritual battle. This is a fight for our souls in this realm, on this plane, on this realm where we live. This is where, this, this is where the battle is. So we have to really zoom out and look at all of this is, is in its entirety of what has it actually reduced us to and what it has actually done to us and the reason behind it. And who created this box for us to live in? For what reason? Now, these are the big quests. These are coming up to the big quests. This video, these videos now are going to jump up. Just a couple of leagues, just to start getting the overall. We're not really, really going to get, pick it hugely apart at the moment, but to give us an overall image, an overall picture of where we're going on this, we have to take into account that we are well beyond of what we've been led to believe as spiritual be beings here. And this box turns us in to something else that the ones that created this box that needs us to believe in this box for us to live in there in our entire lives or what we call lives the function of that is to keep us there and never discovering who and what we truly are because they've got full control over this box right now they got full control over that box. We're not going to really get into, you know, who and what is controlling this box at the minute because we're going to we're going to break it down first and then we'll get into that construct control structure and how it works uh, at later videos. But the control structure is very very important because everything in there has to be controlled because we do. We have to be controlled. Because when you really get into it, us being the beings that we are, we're the manifestors here. So we've, we've got the energy to manifest in the image of, what, of our imagination. So this box is very, very important to certain entities here to stop us getting out of that box and then really discovering who and what we are, like I say. So we're getting up on time a little bit, is, but what I really wanted to throw in is we'll do, I'm going to do a few more videos and we're just going to latch them all together. Now, the control structure of this, 
What is this box? What is it? What is this box where we live? Now, I'm going to take a leap of faith here, and, and maybe you're going to have to take a leap of faith with me. But we're going to start changing the name of this box, right? Like I said, like a video or two. But instead of calling it a box, what we're going to do, we're going to start calling this the mind. Right? We're going to start calling that control structure, that box what we live in, where all of the stories are, where everything is, we're going to call it the mind. And as the world was to the earth, we're going to take a leap of faith on that and we're going to put the work mind over here and we're going to put imagination here. Our true imagination. Okay? So, keep on with the videos. I'm going to do another couple and this we're going to really, really get into this. So, much love from Escape the Mind. Much love from me to you. Take it easy and I'll see you in a bit.